DevOps is the practice of development and operations working as one for the greater good of the application. It's become the de facto method of managing the software development lifecycle in modern software delivery teams. But lately, there's been a troubling trend arising with the term DevOps and it has the potential to do some serious damage to the very thing it was designed to solve. So today I'm gonna to discuss DevOps at a high level, what it is, what it isn't, and what you should look out for when trying to get into DevOps at a company. At its core, DevOps was designed to solve a specific problem, and that problem was development and operations not talking to each other. Essentially, in the day-to-day -day operations of a software delivery team, you would have the developers who wrote the code and they would write it on their computers and they would say, everything looks fine to me. And then they would check their code in and call it a day. And the term even came about to say, throw the code over the wall to operations. So then you had an operations team. The operations team was responsible for making sure that the code got to production, that it ran in production in a stable fashion, and they were responsible for collecting production issues and reporting them back to the development team, where then the development team again would just kind of start over, right? They would pick up the problem, they would fix it on their computers without really having a full understanding of, the, of how it operates in production, and then throw it back to operations one more time. So some very smart people designed the idea of DevOps. And when they designed it, they clearly stated that DevOps is a culture. DevOps is a practice. And the practice, and you've probably all seen it before, the little infinity sign, right? Is that you have the development team and the operations team working very closely together to ensure that the application runs perfectly at all times. And that's evolved over time from just your basic uh, development and operations teams working together to now in some places, even where I work now, that the development team is the operations team. You have a set of well-rounded individuals that are capable of not only writing code, but also automating the process of moving that code all the way through the development pipeline. Everything is automated and the whole process is planned out from the very beginning. It's not the development team creating an application in a silo and then the operations team having to essentially deal with it uh, after that point. And in a perfect world, this would be the case all the time. You would have a set of people responsible for not only creating their code, but also ensuring that it works in the in a production environment and continues to operate in harmony forever and ever. Unfortunately, this world isn't perfect and not every company has really caught on to the idea of what DevOps truly is. And that's what I find troubling about the space that we're in right now with DevOps. If you go look at job postings out there right now, you're going to see a number of jobs that are posted for DevOps engineers. and that can mean one of two things. It either means that a company doesn't know what to call these people, which that's totally understandable. I guess I would go with uh, pipeline automation engineers or software delivery engineers or something to that effect to, you know, to separate out uh, what, the, what these roles are if it is truly like a specialized role in the company. If you go to any job site and search for the term DevOps engineer, you're going to find any number of jobs that are all in this realm. And the companies that are posting these jobs, I'm not saying that they're that they're bad places. And I'm also not saying that there isn't a role for the people that are excellent at automating the process of moving code from somebody's computer or GitHub to a production environment and ensuring that it works seamlessly. What I am saying is that sometimes companies that are posting these jobs don't completely understand what it is that they're looking for. And they also don't understand what DevOps is. As with most trends like this in job roles, larger companies have adopted the term and have done it correctly. We think about places like Netflix that have adopted DevOps and and truly like embraced it, right? They're, they're doing everything, uh, quote unquote, by the book. And so other companies see this and they say, hey, DevOps is really working for Netflix and I really want to do that too. And then I guess they forgot to read the manual or something. And instead they skip a step and they say, well, let's just go ahead and hire a bunch of these DevOps people. And they think that hiring a DevOps team 
is going to fix the problem. And really what they're doing in that scenario is hiring an operations team, giving them different titles, and maybe some, maybe some fancier tools. But they're totally missing the point of what DevOps is. So if you're in the space of delivery automation or software autom automation, or you know we can call it DevOps engineering, and you're looking to find a job where you get to do all this fun stuff with all of these automation tools, be careful when you're applying and make sure you ask some really good questions in the interview. You don't wanna end up at a place that calls your job DevOps, but really treats you like an operations engineer that doesn't talk to the software developers and you're really just following the old practices with a new title. During the interview, ask a few questions about the org structure of the company. Find out if development and operations are actually like two completely different pieces. See if they report to different people. Another good thing to ask is what does an average day look like for a DevOps engineer at a company? If they tell you that you're involved in planning from the very beginning and working with the developers who are writing the application code, then you're probably in a good spot. If they tell you that your day is spent monitoring applications and doing production deployments every Wednesday, then you might wanna run. And finally, just ask who you report to. The title of the manager makes a difference. If you report to somebody that is called the director of delivery, then that's a good sign. If you report to the manager of operations, then you better look out. Also listen for key terms during the interview process. If they refer to things like, you take the code and deploy it, then that's probably also not what you're looking for. So I'm interested to hear from some of you that are in this space right now. Leave a comment if you're in DevOps and your title is DevOps, or even if your title isn't DevOps. I really wanna know what the landscape looks like out there. Do you work in a true DevOps environment or do you instead work in a place where you're just glorified operations? I think I'll leave it there for now. If you got something out of this video, please subscribe. And till next time, happy coding.